Okay. So, getting back into things. I'm excited to see more, more horse shit coming through. We know some of the- oh, that's, that's what I forgot when I was setting up. I need to open up the randomizer change log. Sacred stones, randomizer, change log. All right, there we go. That's what I forgot. Well, we've had one death already. We killed Hayden, who was our Vanessa. But I, I dig most of our units. I think we're we're good like item wise, right? Our bolting is like half broken. Troubadour Lord Ford. Yeah. Which he's about halfway through with his heels. We need we need another heal. Which hopefully we get soon. Seth is doing pretty well. Dog Ephraim is is pretty fun. I do really like him. Home, our brave lances, or brave javelins, rather. Poor Bjorn. Okay. And then Dussel has really good growths, if I remember correctly. Erica has like a hundred defense growth as well, so she'll become our tank. But let's let's hop into things. Let's go. Chapter four. With her bracelet recovered, Erica sets out with renewed determination. Passing through the ancient forest, Zaha brings them close to Grotto's border. As they near the town of Seraphiu, Erica's fears are assuaged. I, I, feel, I, I know I looked this word up. Like, I get the meaning behind it, but the pronunciation, I, I know I did it mid-LP, but I don't remember. Assuage. It is assuaged, okay by lack of troops. But never before seen terrors crawl in the shadows of the trees. Yeah, loot and archer coming in. So we'll get two new random uh, randomizations. We're approaching Seraphiu at the border of Renai and Grotto. Once we cross, we'll be in Grotto. Renval won't be much farther. It is assuming we can cross the border without mishap. Oh, look over there! Those strange figures, what are they? Are they human? I've never seen anything like it, what could they be? There's a thief down at the bottom. Oh, not- I don't think it- no, it's not like a normal thief, it's like promoted thief. I guess that's the boss? Because he was red. What have we done to deserve the trials before us? What is happening to us? How could such abominations walk our lands while the sacred stones protect us? Loot, please, it's dangerous outside the walls. Stay here in the village. Those are revenants, aren't they? They were the vanguard of the Demon King in the Days of Darkness. The Tome of Nazania describes them in Chapter 2, Section 7, Paragraph 8. You know of them? Duh, I'm a prodigy. I can recall almost everything I see or hear. According to the book, remnants attack using razor-sharp cloths. Sounds painful, painful wouldn't you say? Yes, sir. Well, be that as it may, I must go aid those travelers outside. I should stay here within the safety of the village. Very well. I don't mind staying here. In fact, it seems a smarter choice. Magic is far more powerful than any monster's claws. The thickest hide and strongest armor are useless against magic's power. Yes, I suppose I could have studied swords, but only magic is worthy of me. Even if this village were to be assaulted by monsters, I could defend it perfectly. Arter... No, not more... Okay, more... The subclasses, I, f I still forget what they're called. Travelers, you must listen to me. The ancient forest of Zaha is dangerous. Head south and pass through this place before the fiends surround you. Who are you? My name is Arter. We'll see who it actually is in a second. The temple has assigned me the task of cleansing the forest of these things. Trainees. Yes, thank you. There are so many of the fiends, though. I wonder if I stand much chance alone. So if you would, please flee now while you have the chance. Fiends? You're not talking about the same fiends that serve the ancient demon king. They can't be right. They're nothing but legends and fairy tales. Yes, I felt the same when I heard. And yet, here they are. This place is filled with them. I 
wonder how far they've spread. Surely they're not in Renai alone. But why are they here? How? Beware, Your Highness. Something approaches. Please allow me to deal with this. Evil shade, may the blessed light drive you from this land. Wait, it's just Amelia. It's like just actual Amelia. Trainee, okay. <laughs> we ought to help. We can't fight them all alone. Do you have orders? All right, and people have to catch the bench now. But Amelia. Recruit Amelia. Um, with a javelin. So, there's that. Uh, what, like, this is growth-wise. So, she has 25 uh, HP, 25 strength. Not good. Not good. 70 skill and 65 speed. The skill, the skill will be good, because this javelin needs a skill user. Um, 10% luck, 5% defense, 45% res. So, uh, Amelia, in our run, is how everyone sees her normally. Garbage. <laughs> okay. She has E rank in lances, of course. Um, the question now, though, is who... Oh, oh, Torbjorn. We already know Torbjorn's not very good. It's unfortunate. His growths are horrid. Horrendous. He has everything... Everything that he needs as a swordmaster, or just merm in general, are like 5%. So, okay, okay, I guess this will... Ford is our Erica. Okay, wait, now I don't know. Like, I'm trying to figure out how the supports would go if, like, Ford has to support whoever Ephraim's replacement is. Look at Ephraim. Is there an Erica? There is, but I don't, I don't get, hmm. I, I don't know how it's, how it's handling it. Oh, I guess, oh, before I start, I could give Amelia, uh, I can't give her anything. We have nothing in the convoy. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I could change formation. It's fine. Okay, so for art, or for loot, just anyone has to visit. Okay, that's, that's what I wanted to check. One of my companions in that village to the south. If any of you can get there swiftly, I implore you to watch over her safety. Sports are unchanged. They just spoil future units. Do they? Okay. Um, I guess now is the time to see... What happened to the monsters? So we can see zombies are going to hit me, and they have crit. Um, we're not gonna get an exact from looking at this, but Rotten Claw. So, Rotten Claws, they went from seven might down to two might, which is nice. They went from 80 hit to 162 hit, their weight went from 8 to 1, though. Um, and the weapon ability, weapon unbreakable, targets resistance. Okay. Interesting. Okay. 
<laughs> that's a neat change, yeah, but hmm, that's kind of terrifying. You got this. You don't got this. Oh, what was Amelia's movement? I didn't check that. Six. Okay. Can't reach that. Um... Man, at least it's not another poison thing. Don't have to worry about getting poison from him. Even has that. Yeah, I'm not sure what weapon has. I guess, yeah, it would be a light brand or rune sword effect. One hit rate. Okay. Slim swords are holy weapons. They just. Slim swords just got even better. Holy shit, okay. Nice monster slayer. Uh, oh, let's look at the, the eyeballs. Uh, they're getting additional magic from evil eye. 10 attack, 36 hit. Let's see here, evil, let's, let's see it, the exact changes. Evil Eye. So Evil Eye, in similar fashion to the Rotten Claws, went from 7 might down to 2 might. The hit went from 85 down to 20. No critical. The weight increased from 6 to 12. Uh, but they get a plus 5 strength bonus. Uh, magic and Unbreakable. And... It has, it, it had a weapon ability, like, okay, so apparently before, Evil Eye didn't have a weapon ability, but now its new weapon ability is locked to monsters and dragons, like, that really changes anything. But moguls are, are garbage. At least, these moguls are garbage. The upgraded ones, I don't know, we won't know yet, but this one... Our tiny Biggle boys are, are no threat to us. I tried. Oh, there's another one. Uh, but you, yeah, you just have, okay, you have an iron sword. You don't have a special weapon. Uh, this is a monster. <laughs> What the fuck is a shadow killer? Why does that have 106? What is this? Five weight, three might, 78 hit, 42 crit, effective against monsters, 106 uses. What is this? Is this, is this a weapon that was put in the game files that you don't use? Is it like one of those weird file, uh, weird swords in Fire Emblem 7 that are in the game if you use like the Mario Kart double dash disc? Is it some weird shit like that? You do Vengeful Chow. Tower of Volney or something. Yes. He has a lot of speed, though. He has eight movement, too. He's kind of scary. He has no defense. But he scares me. They're doing a Lolan Gormagala. Why well, can't Dussel? Oh, it's because the, the tomes are garbage. It's like, wait, uh, Dussel's pretty good, if I remember right. He is. It's the tomes. The tomes that are wrong. Oh, incoming. All right, this weapon was one of the, that could be briefly obtained through a Japan exclusive Jump Festa event in late 2004 in which players could link the Game Boy systems to specifically contrived devices 
incorporate a certain set of data to select save file through the transfer data menu. Once that data could be... Okay. So, some weird transfer event. Huh. Home got speed and res. Okay, it's like I, I was I was reading. I, I did not see what I actually got. All right. The Jirachi of Fire Emblem. That's not wrong. Ooh, okay. Come on, Amelia. 30 isn't terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty bad, but like, compared to Inez, could be worse. E there we go. Okay, 13. Oh, he's on a tree. Yeah. Now we're definitely not hitting. Oh, wait, isn't this the map that whenever we beat it, we'll see Lerishel, Torbjorn, and uh, Thief Boy? I can't remember his name. So we'll get a preview of their classes. Renick, yeah, thank you. Oh! Oh, fuck you! Oh, it's mid chapter, okay. Good level, good level. Alright, Ford. Level three. Fuck you. <laughs> See that old snag to the south of here? That will make a handy bridge if you can knock it over. Take a weapon to it and give it a good few whacks. Yeah. Iron axe, okay. Good uses for the fire tongue. Pretty Mr. Storm. But it's so pretty. Yeah, he is a pretty prince. A23 hey, it doesn't kill, but I dig it. He'll he'll die on any uh, not on enemy phase. He'll kill himself. Well, I guess technically, yeah, he will die on enemy phase. Poison will take him down to one HP at most. Uh ooh. Uh, 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 vulnerary. Oh, and the Slim Sword helping out. We good. Two. Yeah, I don't think I'll run away. Okay. I just thought about home. How is he gonna promote? Because Ephraim and Erica promote via story. Oh my god, good shit. Uh, oh, Amelia's at tier zero? Oh yeah, she's absolutely catching the bench then. Am 
might die before she gets a chance to see the bench. Oh yeah, this is the first game with the Master Seal, isn't it? I forgot about that. Okay, so Larishel, what is with all of these trainees? Go away. I wanted monsters, not flooded with trainees. If a train, the what, journeyman and the trainee mage. Oh my, these travelers are besieged by the ancients of evil. Ah, right you are, Lady Larishel. We can't allow this to happen. Come, we must charge down these cliffs and rush to their aid. We charge down these cliffs, and the only thing we'll be rushing to is death. How about we find us a nice, gentle path down, hmm? Ah, uh, yes, well, let us hurry nonetheless. I simply cannot abide those wicked beasts running amok. Feated Claw, okay. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure one of these has a special claw. Uh... Has really a oh, you're terrifying. All right, what are the changes to Feated Claw exactly? I see crit and hit rate. I don't like that. Feated Claw. On the plus side, it went from 12 might down to five might. So there's that. A uh, 75 hit to 174 hit. Got 45 crit. Weight went from 10 to 11. Uh, and that is the only change. No extra effects to it whatsoever. It's just... It's just a critty boy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Larishelle is the one in the front, so yeah, I'm pretty sure she's the journeyman. I guess you could just sit back here and farm experience. Um, I didn't want to use the bolting. I'm trying to save it a bit. But things are getting kind of sketchy. Dozel was the sage. I always forget those two placements. Okay. Was it a sage or was it a female mage? I wasn't paying attention to that part. When you hit a 28? No. I was like, I was pretty sure it was a female mage. Or female, I guess it could be a female sage, too. Um, famous female sage, okay. Forty oh, 46 hit rates! Yeah! There we go! Alright. Oh! Oh! Perfect level! Let's go. Let's go. We're not allowed to reset. That That's like prime, I'm about to reset. No. No, we can't. We can't- after that, we can't. Not allowed. Anything sca iron lances, oh, oh, they're devil weapons. Um. All right. 
right, Seth with a level. More speed. Hey, the devil, the devil effect coming through. Oh, coming through again! <laughs> Let's go! No one's touching Seth. The one didn't attack Erica. Interesting. I think it was the Feated Claw that didn't attack. We're getting chunked, but oh, we won't kill him. He'll live with one HP. Unless we get that 3%, which we didn't. Okay. This guy will live on one as well. Okay, we're gonna have to <laughs> go help Erica. Fifty-three hit rate. Oh, I, was, I got one one hit in. Evil eyes, real cute. This map could have been like hell, but as for our first monster map, it's. It's nice. I have a feeling we're not gonna be so lucky with the upgraded versions of the monsters. Ooh, uh, do you have a vulnerary? Yes, just use that. Home. All right. Fifty three. That's like the best hit rate. We've oh, there we go. Get experience. Which happened the next one aren't gonna be fun? Well, we don't know that. We haven't seen anything from them. Alright, everyone will take out the eye. I mean, Super, Super Denny Boy Ford looks beautiful. He really does. Pretty princess. if Amelia... I mean, thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Because now Seth can kill him. Alright. <laughs> Those poor... Every... All three of the skeletons proc the brave effect. None of them damaged me. Those poor guys. Defeated claw. Oh, that's a crit. But thankfully, it's only a one damage crit. Roll three, but you know. Alright. Yeah, 
the laugh. Alright. So more defense for Erica. And strength and speed. We're doing Magia. Monster class happened. Everything's fucked up in this one. Everything is. Alright, let's get loot. Who do we got? Hmm? Your flesh shows no sign of uh, putr putrefaction. Seems you're not a revenant. I decided to join you in battle now. My name is Loot. I'm a mage of superior wisdom and rare ability. And reading up on these revenants, they are quite simply no match for me. I'm superior after all. Another healer. Oh boy, who do we got as a si it Ooh! Ismair with Hammern! Coming in to heal the bolting. I see you. Alright. So, let's find Loot. And see what exactly we got here. So yeah, Joshua's mom coming in. Uh, base. Okay. Well, no magic to start with. Is a rank in? Uh, okay. Um, growth wise, we have five HP. All right, twenty-five magic. Mm. Fifty skill. 30 speed, 90 luck, 5 defense, and 100 res. Not the best. Not our worst. 5 HP, yeah, 5% HP, it's 17 HP right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's not great. Do we have, like, okay, hold on. You have A rank in staves. Okay, C. Is Hammer an A? I feel like that's, a, that's an A rank stave. Oh, it's a, it's a C rank stave. Okay. I'll give that to Ford so he gets the experience for healing weapons. Alright. Cool. Let's finish this guy off. Oh, did she have three? I keep forgetting to check movement. Oh, no, she got minimal movement yet. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go, Inez. No, oh, come on. C come on. You got this. One more, one more. Yeah. Okay, we just gotta deal with this. This guy scares me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, he does only have seven attack. Well, I get, okay. So the most he can, he's gonna do to me is 21 damage. And that's on a zero defense unit, which I don't think we have. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, especially... I also just kind of realized Inez's stats. I didn't notice his bases, or remember his bases. <laughs> Inez is broken, man. <laughs> yeah. His only, like, thing he has to overcome is landing hits with the javelin. It does- it honestly doesn't even matter if he promotes. He- he can promote, but I don't think he needs to. And as- yeah, he's typically a sniper. Seth. Probably 
can. He's yeah, according to, to how people have, have looked as a his experience growth, he is a, a tier one instead of a tier zero. I I can't tell, I'm just basing this off of chat, because even my uh, my change log won't tell me. You no, know, I got real scared because he's a rogue. Don't rogues have an innate like aren't aren't there class skills in this game? Could he have lethal lethality to me? Was that a possibility just then? Of an assassin, you're right. You're, yeah, the assassins have that. Rogue is lockpick. Okay. Okay. We've killed all the monsters. Still, we best burn the bones to ash to be sure they don't return. I can't believe we, uh, what we've been fighting here. I thought those fiends nothing more than myth and legend. Those revenants are said to be the least of the dark creatures, and yet the weakest of any could outmatch any normal man. We cannot take this enemy lightly. Oh yes, they are much worse than those remnants in the Entombed. Let's see, there's the Bonewalkers, Moth Dubes, Ephraim, Gargoyles, Bales. Oh, the spy I forgot about the spiders existing. I don't want any of them. No thank you. It might be it might turn out to be good, but no thank you. Why well, I bet you could just uh I bet you could just about any creature of lore I bet you just about any creature of lore could be walking again. Yes, we're in for some trouble. Even my fabulous power may not be enough. Oh, divine light, show me. Is this a sign of dark days to come? Oh, that's holy. What is happening? I really hope they're not good. Like, no, with knowing my luck, out of all the monsters, the spiders are going to be terrifyingly, like, overpowered. So every fight is going to be a boss fight. Or every, you know, spider fight is going to be a boss fight. It's going to be awful. Berserica perhaps would be wise to return to Freli and regroup. Pressing forward seems foolish in light of recent events. We cannot face both Grado's forces and more of those terrible things. Seth, I follow your point. Nothing would please me more than running for safety. But what of my brother? He and his men are trapped in the same situation we are. I know full well that I may be leading us into even greater danger, but please try to understand. I do, my princess. And I vow to see you through this safely. Units in the same class of the same movement, stat usually, or is it character-based? I mean, I think it's character-based, so they're just gonna get, like... Or class-based? I... Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't... I don't know. I... If... If I get what you're asking... Are you asking, like, on promotion, or is their movement gonna change? Because I think they'll get normal, like, promotion bonuses. But I don't know beyond that. I don't know if it's gonna wildly change. Like, I don't know if, like, a Cavalier will go from, like, six movement down to, like, one on promotion. We'll see. Hell creatures, beware! I, Lara, shall bestow upon you the honor of banishment at my blessed hands! Oh, where are the monsters? Well, we just finished. Ah, glad tidings indeed. The heavens must be rejoicing. I'm a tad disappointed, however. After all, I did rush all the way here to show you the splendor of my might. Ah, it's a real shame, isn't it, Lady L Larishel? Shameful is the way you drag us around the countryside. Pardon me, but who are you? Me? Since you ask, please allow me to introduce myself. It is I, the true light and glory of the sacred realm of Roston. Stop, Lady Larishel, you mustn't continue. You cannot reveal your true identity here. Oh, yes, you're right. Oh, I get so careless sometimes. I must ride off in an anonymity. Oh, how beautifully romantic. Right. 
Fare thee well, strangers. Perhaps our paths will cross again. Come, Dozla, Rennick, we ride. Let's go, Rennick. All right, all right. What was that about? Okay. You will lose movement on promotion if the class has less movement. In fact, you can see this in Secret Stone proper when you promote a cab to a great knight. Mm, okay. Well, let's hope for the best, I suppose. Uh, okay, so Ismair. Give all. Dozla, you can also give all. And Amelia, unfortunately. Uh, Inez. Level six, okay. So let's go ahead and grab another heal. Uh, we'll hold off for the hammer for now. I don't think we have it. Like, bolting is getting close. Um, I think that's really the only thing we have to worry about right now is bolting. Hard mode? Yeah, yeah, I see no reason to play. Like, I played the game, granted, like, is I fucked up the game with randomizer, but, I don't know, I played it blind on hard. I just feel no reason to, to go back down, you know? Oh, there's no shop there. Alright. An ominous wave of dark creatures washes over the continent. Erica's journey to find her brother Ephraim grows ever more perilous. Still, she presses on despite the danger. Her will is strong. The town of Seraphi, located on the border of Renai and Grotto. The people of both countries have long used the town as a meeting place. It stands as testimony to the friendship the two nations have shared these many years. Now, however, Seraphie is teeming with Grado, uh, with Grado troops. Okay, what, what map is this? The Empire's Reach. Not Natasha. Oh, that one! Okay. Like, I don't have... It's in the other oh, yeah, Joshua and Natasha. Alright. We have Joshua's mom. Kegatron 9000! Thank you for that sub. I appreciate that, man. Really do. Got you a nice five star pull there. Thank you. There's an arena in this town. Perfect. My pocket's feeling a bit light. Say, is that a cleric? It is, and a gorgeous one at that. I really hope it's like. Is there a really gross character in this game that you can play? You know, I mean, Geb is in this game, but like, you can't play Geb. I really hope it's like the hairiest person in the game. Something amiss, sister? You look flustered. Wait. Is Natasha a merm? Uh, pardon me? No, pardon me. I never meant to startle you. Or... Or is she a skeleton? He... Uh, may I offer you my apologies? No, it's not necessary. It was my fault. Excuse me, I must be going. Good day to you. There she goes. Not my lucky day. She was quite the beauty, too. Ah, uh, such is life. I think I have time still to visit the arena, though. There, okay. What it, there's a Cerberus on the map, on, there's a, there's, I think a Cerberus? Was it a gargoyle? And just a soldier. Who is what right now? <laughs> Captain Sar of the Seraphim Border Guard, how fare you? Bring orders from his majesty. Rumor has it that Princess Erica of Renai is making her way to Grotto. You are, you are to find her and place her in custody immediately. Yes, sir. One more thing. A traitor to the Empire has fled ca uh, Castle Grotto. Received reports she's hiding somewhere here in Seraphim. I don't care if you have to tear this town apart. Find the turncoat. It, yes, sir, General Glenn. If she resists, do we have permission to execute her? Yes. And granted. Understood. Grados will be done. The Grado Empire will repay the debt of retrail with blood. His Majesty relies upon you, Captain. Be sure his trust is not misplaced. That is all. Yes, sir. 
Uh, such loyalty to the crown. If only I could hold such conviction in the righteousness of our emperor. Really troubling you? Wait, this is the DLC boy, right? And it's the Cerberus that I don't know if I can unlock him then. I guess it depends how... Unless he's the Gargoyle. Because then it makes sense. Because I know at least in one path, he comes in... Over water. No, pay no mind to me. Come, Cormag. Let's go. Nice corn mug. From here, we ride northeast. Back to the fort. Very well. Cerberus. <laughs> nice demon, boys. The Gargoyle DLC. Alright. It's been so long since I last visited Seraphiel. My brother and I used to pass through here en route to Grotto. Remember the harmony in which the people of both countries lived? No walls divided our borders. No soldiers stood guard on high towers. This border town, it was to me a symbol of the trust between Grotto and Renai. And now is firmly under the thumb of Grotto's Emperor. The peace I remember in this city. It seems like something from forever, uh, from another time. It seems lost now, forever. He's the gargoyle, okay. Okay. The city doesn't seem to be very heavily patrolled. I must feel it's not worth guarding the Castle Renai under their control. We must try to not draw attention to ourselves. The Westgate is undermanned. Pardon me, may I ask you a question? I don't remember who this is. Oh, yeah, Saleh. Yeah, you've been with us the entire time. What is it? I'm looking for someone. Have you seen a young girl with indigo hair? Indigo hair? No, sorry. Hmm. Thank you. Sorry to intrude. I forgot Manakeet is a class randomized into this. Hmm. There's something very odd about that man, wouldn't you say? It didn't seem unusual. He didn't strike me as a grotto spy, but... Gotcha, don't let her escape! That way! She went that way! What's that? It's coming from over there. Let's see what the commotion is. Okay. Natasha, or whoever this is. Swordmaster. Or Myrmidon, rather. Traitor Natasha, surrender peacefully. Come quietly, and you may have the chance to explain yourself before His Majesty. Wait, please, you must listen to me. Take her. No, you must believe me. The Emperor is not himself. You must be able to see that. Impugn the Emperor at your peril. We've been ordered to execute you if you offer any resistance. But your words condemn you. Three randomized Manakees guaranteed to have dragon stones? I believe so, because everyone else has come with a weapon they can wield. So I would assume that any Manakee we get would come with a dragon stone. The cleric is a traitor of the throne uh, to the throne of Grotto? What madness is this? Are you alright? Wh who are you? I'm from Renai. Why are those Grotto men after you? From Renai? Oh, I have something I must tell you. It's about Grotto. Wait, Grotto soldiers are coming this way. We'll have to talk later. Now we must fight. Okay. The problem with that is Manakeets can wield monster claws. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So it's a toss-up. Let's see what we actually get. Okay. Uh, going to bed early morning. All right, Wilson, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Uh, okay, so Ismair, Ozla, and Amelia on the bench. I think that's, that's all we need. Natasha's Larishel, and she's a merp. Look at your stats, girl! You have 18 move! Or 18. I read 16 and 8 at the same time. 8 move? Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold up. Natasha. Let's see here. Iron sword. That needs to be a slim sword as soon as possible. Yeah, 18 move. That'd be insane. Uh. But growth-wise, I dig what I'm seeing. Four, uh, 50 HP, 45 strength. That's pretty solid for a merm. 75 skill. Here's the kicker, the 10% speed. She at least has 12 base, but has 10% speed growth. 20% luck. Uh, 50 defense and 40 res. 
Okay. She could be a, a, a tanky merm with 16 con and 50 defense growth. Her base defense isn't great, but for a level 1, those are really good bases for a level 1. Do I have an extra slim sword to give you? I don't know that I do. Oh wait, wait, armory is a thing, but slim sword's not here. Damn. Flux! Hold up, hold up, okay. Oh, I don't know if I have anyone who can wield that. Or that. If we get a dark magic user, that's gonna be our accuracy toll. Because fire and thunder are garbage. It's all, yes, 76 uses. Lightning is also awful, okay. As long as the flux doesn't have a devil effect to it. Uh, there's more, another heal there if I need it. Go for a dark mage, right? I mean, I might just buy, well, if we come, if we get a dark mage, he should come with one, right? And we can just go find, yeah, that's expensive. I'm not gonna buy it right now if I can't use it. Unless Sale. No, can it? Let me just double check. Yeah, no one has no one has dark magic. Okay. Any weapon potentially has devil. Yes. Yes. It's iron. Iron lances do, and the thunder tone does as well. That we have found out so far. Wait, Skelly Boy! See? Your mom worrying about you, you're running off and you go die. So much of my dreams of making my fortune here. First the girl, now the gold, and release of my lucky day. You there, mercenary! What are you doing here at the arena? Get back to the staging area now. Come on, why don't we both hit the arena? It'll be good training. If you're gonna risk your life anyway, you may as well try to earn some gold. I'm reporting you to the captain. You'll be lucky if he just docks your pay. Don't forget, you can be replaced in, a, in an eye blink, you filthy cell sword. Don't worry, little man, I won't forget. Yeah, works work, but I don't like fighting women. Now, then, what's the rest of the, what's the rest of the day got in store for me? Tails, huh? That's yeah, nothing but bad luck and more bad luck. You may not want to hear what I have to say, but I must speak with one of the Grotto soldiers. Well, if only one of them would listen to my words, please grant me strength. All right, so who is our Joshua? Marissa, but you're a Bone Walker. Bone Walker's the the tier one tiny boy skeleton. That's upset. Killing Edge is one use. Um, but it also looks terrifying. No, we have another we have another hand axe situation. We have to take a hit. To be safe. But I don't want to take a hit from that. Oh gosh. 14 defense? 3 movement. No. <laughs> Alright. Uh, where is. Where? Joshua. No, Joshua. Okay, so Marissa as a bone walker has 95 HP, 10 strength of magic, 95 skill, 5 speed, 75 luck, 5 defense, and 5 res. The poor girl is garbage. Damn it, Marissa. This was kind of worthless. Alright, let's check. Iron Axe. Let's see if there's any weapons I don't recognize here. Oh, the boss has a javelin. As long as he can't hit me. And he has some pretty solid, like, bases. 
and his speed's low, so I'm, I'm hoping that that'll help enough. We don't have any axes for weapon triangle. Okay. Iron bow, yeah, yeah. I don't remember fully what the iron if the iron bow has any effects, but it does have the, the 29 crit. Okay, wait, 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 you, wait, no. You have eight movement too, don't you? Yeah, you do, okay. So yeah, it's definitely class based. Oh, that was bolting. Is it a poison? Are the are the bows poison? I know there's a lot of things that got poison. So I'm not sure. Oh, you're dead. You are also dead. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> oh, hello. Look at this, now's our chance. Come on, lads. Let's join the fight and steal our way through this pathetic town. You actually hit me. That's annoying. doesn't give like a damn he's just he's just here he can do his own thing just fine doesn't matter from bristle attacker I mean yeah Seven hit rate. Can we do it? Yes. Uh, Erica. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll, we'll let you come to me. Back with Seth. <laughs> Zero hit rates, gotta love them. You couldn't kill me. You can only kill me if I'm at 1 HP. So, that's the only good thing about Iron Axe enemies. I'm actually really surprised Ephraim doesn't double these guys. No one wants to go after Inez? I mean, I don't blame you. Come on now, that's no fun.
much weight does what uh, everyone's weapon have? Uh, I don't remember it being too heavy. I don't remember, though. Uh, Fiery Fang. It's a... It's five weight. It didn't change. That's a good question. Five. So he's... His speed is what we're looking at. We don't have to worry about Khan at all with him. Counterbalances completely. <laughs> it's 19 Khan. Jesus. Well... Thank you, Colm. Still didn't kill him. Hello. Did you come to see me dance? I'm sorry, but I just finished a few moments ago. Oh, by the way, would you be interested in one of these items? A wealthy patron left me a small ransom and gift after watching my performance. You can sell one for gold if you'd like, or use them to improve your skills. I simply cannot carry all of this myself, so please take this one. Wealth is useless if you can't use it to bring happiness to others, right? Thanks for dropping by. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Dragon shield, alright. Uh... Well, that man killed himself. Let's heal up Erica. <laughs> Just gotta watch. Right. I am kind of afraid. Uh, of this bow on Ford. I think I could walk up and probably take this guy out. Yeah. Uh, I think that would be fine. I'm gonna do it. No speed, come on, man. We get free movement. We're safe on that front. Come up here, Iron Sword. Be able to kill at least that guy on enemy or player fate. Oh, stop hitting me, man. Alright, well, we double one of them. Let's see, Colm level. Gladly take that. They're not attacking Inez. Oh, this guy will. Come on. Oh, get fucked. He's probably gonna be like an MVP. Ooh, nice. I think our main problem currently, and hopefully we're able to find something else, but like slim weapons are like the best weapons around right now. 
javelins work if if you can land. But the might. Or the slim like slim lands is one might. So we're gonna get to a point where we're not gonna be able to do damage. We can hit them and whittle them down with poison. But doing damage is definitely a worry. Keep seeing the Amelia sprite and thinking, yeah, cute girl doing work, and then I just remember it's a frat boy in a skirt. Speed and luck. Alright. Um... Really just really gotta, gotta pay attention to Marissa. Don't want to get bodied. Three hit rate. Uh, how about instead I just visit this house? Hey, get back on the bench. Uh, let's see, I got vulnerabilities, antitoxins. Oh, I can't let myself forget torches for when it gets dark. Yep, I'm all set. Now I just need to get to the capital. I'll be the finest soldier the Grado Army's ever seen, I swear it. What's this? Thank you. More defense for Erica, but what else? HP and strength. 12 hit rate. From now is we are locked in, so Inez is fighting this boy whether he likes it or not. Oh boy. I mean, I guess Seth could come to the rescue. He is right up here. Thank you for hitting yourself. <laughs> Solaris, I was able to take the soldier down. Okay. 5% strength, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. You're that man I met. Are you here to capture me? You've been hired to silence me, haven't you? Yeah, Grotto's paying the bill. They want you dead, you know. But don't feel bad, it's not personal. Wait, please! It doesn't matter what happens to me, but you must hear my words. The Emperor of Grotto has changed. He's not the man he once was. The other nations must be warned before he extinguishes all light from our lands. No offense, but I'm just a mercenary. I don't care about Grotto or its Emperor. Everything you say may be true or it may be lies. I don't care either way. But that's... Even so, killing a beautiful lady like you would leave a bad taste in my mouth. Tell me, do you like to gamble? What? Gambling's what I live for. Even when I lose, I never want to stop. Let's have this little wager. If you win, I'll believe you. Heads or tails, you call it. You can't. This is no time for games. Would you rather I get on with the job I was hired for? Uh, heads. No, no, tails! Right, so I'm heads and you're tails. Here we go. Which, which is it? What do you know? It's tails. You win. Figures I haven't won anything all day. Well, Lady Luck has spoken. Guess I'm on your side now. Are you serious? Yeah, sure, I might cheat, but if I never were, I'm out of a bet. It's a rule of mine. Well, thank heaven. Thank you, blessed light, for your protection. I've got nothing against heaven, but I'm right here if you want someone to thank. No? Well, get behind me then. I've got to take care of these fools. Okay. It's very tempting to just use the killing it. Fire? Yeah, 
crit. 73 crit. It makes me want to, like, keep it. Just, just in that case, I need to do crazy damage and just one-shot something. Because it has 10 base might. But with my luck, I won't get the crit, so... We'll see. Perfect. What does that put you at? What did you start at? Oh, E. So up to D. Okay, cool. Uh, go, go help him. I forgot I gave him the Slim Lance. So he doesn't have to javelin RNG his way out of a corner. Oh my god. Alright then. <laughs> yeah, it, it was looking for a second like it was gonna be a second perfect level. I mean, half is plenty okay. Oh, hello. Alright. Is it this? In my youth, I was a knight of some renown. I have you know, I'll even cross blades with one of the Grados, one of Grados' most famous generals. I have, uh, but I'm an old man now. Trying to worry, what if I die without passing on my techniques? So I decided to write down what I've learned in a book. I have it here. Seemed like a strong worry. I'd be honored if you'd accept it. Skill book, bigger book, skill book, yeah. We got heals, fires, vulneraries. Uh. I'll buy, like, one extra vulnerary. Um... What do we got in here? Anything... Uh, slim sword... Steel swords! Okay. We have not seen steel swords yet. But like steel axes, they are also infinite. They're 17 weight, but that's broken. And because they're infinite, they're only 20 gold a pop. Steel lances have 78 uses while we're here. 20 hit weapons, all right. That's not great. Steel, yeah, steel axes. Steel bows, 44 uses. Ooh, 11 weight. I mean, it's a steel weapon, so I guess it's kind of fitting. I don't know what steel bows normally are when it comes to weight. But 91 hit, 8 might. Like, it's, it's a usable weapon. It's kind of heavy. But, uh... <laughs> That's gross. That is so gross. Before I leave the map, I'm curious what happens if a monster enters the arena. Is it gonna, like, change anything? Is it gonna fuck anything up? I really wanna know. Hey, 
How you doing, Kendrin? That's not Ephraim. So this is level three? No, level four. Magic speed defense. One more? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
speed. Yeah. Oh, good level too. Real good level. Okay. Uh, I feel like the boss is going to move. And I'm afraid of him. See, he has a javelin. I could... Uh, what is the... Oh, you can't go very far. I'm bolting him. Get that poison build up. Enemy of the Empire, death's too good for you. Only the next chapter can fuck us if we get three monsters. I mean, that doesn't even necessarily matter. We have Ephraim here. He's a monster. He's kicking ass. But Marissa's not. She has a weapon that will, though. Come on, Inez. Oh, yep. There you go. There you go. Oh, wait. You have friends. Look at you. Um... I might be able to get Inez to level 10 on this map. Six hit rate. You're cute. You are cute. Come on, you just, just, just kill what man. Mm. I knew you were against the weapon triangle. Don't care. about you, out of curiosity? 40. No thanks. No thanks, I'm not going over there. <laughs> Come on. Ah. There we go. Got the 24 hit rate with the crit. Hitting level 9. We kill the boss, we'll hit level 10. HP luck resistance. Zero hit rate. That was unnecessary, Inez. <laughs> Of a god, glory to his majesty. Oh, that man, that's ninety-five. That was a tight spot. You say so was. Thank you so much. I don't know how to repay. You're from Grotto, aren't you? Yes, my name is Natasha. I was a servant of the people at Grotto's Imperial Temple. Why are you in trouble with the soldiers? Would you tell us your story? Of course. A few days passed, my mentor was arrested without warning. They executed him. They said he was a traitor. But those were false accusations. The Emperor had killed him, a holy man, to keep him silent. Keep him silent? Yes, my mentor told me with his final breath. The Emperor plans to destroy the Sacred Stones. The Sacred Stones destroy them? As you know, the Sacred Stones drove back the power of evil long ago. Even now, each of our nations is home to one of these legendary treasures. It's, uh, there's one in my homeland, Grotto, and one in your Renai. Yeah, the Sacred Stones of Renai is still housed in our royal temple. The Emperor plans to destroy the five stones one by one. Why would he do such a thing? It just says the Sacred Stones are even now all that keeps evil at bay. I cannot begin to guess his motives. You must know now our Emperor has a gentle, uh, was a gentle man. But one day he changed, utterly. Before my mentor died, he said the keepers of sacred stones must be warned. I tried to slip across the border, but the soldiers spotted me. Now what happened? What do you think, Seth? Uh, I think we can trust no one from Grotto. Not in these times. Not without proof. 
However, if what she says is true, we cannot ignore the danger we face. Destroying the sacred stones, we cannot allow that to happen. I agree. Only, if only there was some reason for the Emperor's actions, I have questioned, but can Inez promote? Yes. Yes. I must tell you, her story chills me to the bone. I pray it is false. A moment, please. Are you perchance Princess Erica? I am. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I can't tell you how happy I am. And please accept my gratitude for driving off that Captain Saw. And Saw treated all the citizens of Renai with such contempt and brutality. Not here, not in this city. My brother and I spent uh, such happy times here with Lion. I beg your pardon, but it will not be long before Grado sends more troops. Please, you must go quickly. I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do for you now. Please forgive me. Do not be troubled, Princess Erica. We will survive and wait for the day of liberation to come. It will be a day when you, Prince Ephraim, and all of Renai rise up. Until that day of glory comes, we will wait unbowed or unbowed and filled with, filled with hope. Guiding Ring. I wonder if... I wonder... Hmm. Because that would go to Ford. But Ford's Erica. Isn't Erica a story promotion? Okay, we got a we got an eyeball boss in here, but it's time, yeah, guiding chapter time. We get to see we get to see Ephraim. What is it? Ephraim, actual Ford, a broccoli man whose name I can't remember, and Trader. Are those the four? You can oh you can choose to promote via story. It's not forced. You say no, you just get the item. Kyle and Orson, thank you. What a pleasant surprise is Master Valter. What's the situation, Tirado? You have captured Ephraim, haven't you? No, Prince Ephraim still fights in the lands north of Renville. And why is that? Has uh, what has happened to you all mercenary? Uh... Ooh, stroke. Uh, <laughs> what has happened to all those mercenaries you hired? It wouldn't be less than adequate. Ephraim's clever. His band strikes swiftly and then vanishes into the woods. Uh, we more than double his numbers, and yet he uses the terrain wisely to fight us. He has no army, just a small force of knights loyal to Renai. But Ephraim's reputation as, as a superb strategist would seem to be well earned. Hmm, how interesting. The lad's beginning to whet my appetite. Tirado, bring him to me as quickly as you can, will you? As you command, just grant me an army and I'll bring him down swiftly. What sort of plan do you have? Master, I'm your loyal, uh, adjunct. The adjunct. I can't say that word. I know what it is, but I just can't say it. And you are my general. For you, my lord, I have many plans ready and waiting. Really? Well then, let me hear them. Very well. First, you and I will leave this fort and head north. Then we will find Prince Ephraim in his leafy playpen. But he's not easily found, is he? Do not worry. At Prince Ephraim's side is a friend, shall we say. When the time is right, our friend will move on our behalf. We have a zombie, a bone bow, and a dancer. <laughs> Two spooky boys and a thought. Yep. I mean, I'm glad we have a dancer. Hopefully, I'm glad we have a dancer. <laughs> Oh, Ford, how are we on supplies and equipment? It's not looking good. Our weapons are in bad shape and we're running low on food. We could probably restock at a nearby village, but... No, that's not an option. We're in enemy territory. I will not involve in innocence if I can avoid it. Yeah, I knew you'd say that. I mean, it's because of stuff like that that we've stuck with you so far. But eventually, we need to face reality. What are we going to do? Word of mouth has it... Uh, has that it... As that the invasion of Renai has progressed quite far. The capital has fallen. So soon. Still, my father is in the capital and he won't surrender easily. Ford, Kyle, our mission here is to harry, to harry the troops to distract their eye. Hopefully we'll be able to give my father and Erica some time to escape. Kyle, have you heard anything from Orson? I sent him ahead to scout. Let's see if Orson gets his spray here in the extra map. Yeah. No words yet. It's about time he returned. Reporting in, Prince Ephraim. I can confirm Grotto, pre uh, Grotto presence at several points around our camp. 
Also, a large battalion of soldiers have been dispatched from Renville. We shouldn't tarry here any longer than necessary. I see. Seems though we've certainly caught Grotto's eye this time. Should we retreat back to the capital, Prince Ephraim? No, we press onward. We're going to capture Renval. What? Oh, he's a spider! No! Kill him! That's why he's the betrayer! Get him out of here! So this is Renval, is it? Alright, let's go. Uh, are you sure you're quite sane, Prince Ephraim? We have an entire army after us, and you want to charge their stronghold? Lord, watch your tongue. This is our prince you're addressing. Kyle, please, it's alright. We've heard nothing from home, so what harm could a little reckless besieging cause? Prince Ephraim. Don't worry, I haven't lost all sense of self-preservation. And Ball holds an important place in Grotto's national defense. If we can take the upper hand and take control of it, then Grotto will waste many valuable soldiers trying to take it back. I hope our attack proves useful to my father and Erica. I understand what you're saying, but can we do it with our current strength? Every soldier in this area is trying to fight us, uh, find us. The enemy has a vastly uh, has us vastly outnumbered. Attacking the castle is a ridiculous idea. If the enemy thinks the same, then we may have our opening. You have a point. I'm sure Renville won't expect us to attack with these numbers. Either way, we can't run forever, and we're running out of supplies. What have we got to lose? Shall we get ready to go? Yeah, if we don't move quickly, we may never get another chance. Trust me, I don't think fights that cannot win. There you go, Ephraim. Yes, sir. An attack by Ephraim's troops to arms. Prince Ephraim circled around and brought the fight to us. If we capture the prince here, we can line our pockets with gold. Do you understand? We'll be rich. I hope this is doable. Now I'm worried. <laughs> with these four... Orson? Yes? Your wounds still haven't healed from that last battle, have they? Don't push yourself. If we're defeated, you must return to Frelia. Understood? Understood. Let's go, Kyle Ford. Tana is our bone bow. What is a beacon bow? Is this that, like, night, night killer night blade thing? Okay. Eleven weight, fifteen con. Steel bows have plus five speed to them, counterbalancing some of that fifteen con. Please hold. Let's find. I don't even know Tain. Like, hold on. Let's go to Ephraim and find who is who. This is Ephraim, right here. Tana is Ephraim, Bone Walker brother. Yeah, with 15, okay. What am I looking at? Okay. So, Tana's growths. 5 HP. Not good. 45 strength. Alright. 135 skill. 5 speed. Also not good. 25 luck. 55 defense. 20 red. But also, because it's Tana, she can triangle attack. It's written on the changelog. Character ability number three. Pegasus Knight triangle attack. So... Well, we killed Vanessa, so I guess we can't do that anymore. I forgot about that. But, okay. Yeah, the 135 skill plus this steel bow having 90. Oh, it doesn't have a crit, never mind. But, maybe we'll get critted. But, beacon bow. What is this? Awful. Got it. <laughs> uh, 35 hit rate, 3 crit. Not a, not a good bow. Does it have any special powers? Uh, plus 5 luck was added to it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> well, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, no, if we killed the replacement, so whoever Vanessa actually is would be the one with triangle attack, you're right. Okay, this is our Ephraim. I want to know. We're doubling with a 15 weight bow right now. Murr! Murr's an entombed! 41 HP! Sharp Claws! Have we looked at Sharp Claws? Aren't they, like, garbage? Aren't those what the normal zombies have? Uh... Okay, it's like, it has zero might. Why? It is an eclipse weapon. With 20 hits. Man. Who are you, though? Let's, let's find, try and figure out growth. Mer, this is Ford. Um, now, her claws have 20 hit, but she has a 190 skill growth. So, <laughs> there might come a time where we can do things. She also has a 95 strength growth, which doesn't matter because she's eclipsing, but it's there. Um... 50 HP, 95 strength, 190 skill, 80 speed, 5 luck, 40 defense, and 85 reds. Really good growths. Really, really good growths. But Eclipse... Pretty shitty. But this is Ford. Oh, what's your movement? Three. Ugh. Alright. Kyle is our dancer, and our dancer is loot. Max skill. You came with weapons. For some reason. I mean, I'll, I'll gladly take the weapons, but I, you came with weapons for some reason. But 16 HP, please have it. You don't have an HP growth. You have a 5% HP growth, so... Yeah, it's just gonna be Squish Dancer. Uh, 75 strength, like that matters. 55 skill, 65 speed, 50 luck. 5 defense, 30 res. Really, it's just dancing. That's, that's it. Yeah, it seems like, yeah, Kyle's regular loadout. So we at least got the weapon from that. Speed and luck, it, yeah, the speed and luck hopefully will help dodging. But beyond that... Three, a three move dancer, fuck off. Yeah, loot's worthless. Fuck it, fuck dancers. All right, Orson. Uh, let me find Orson on this list. Orson. He's an elder bale. So he's a promoted boy with 24 con. Um, okay. Filler for five minutes. I'll be away. Uh, I'm gonna head back. Cause I feel like all right, Doge. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Hope you feel better. Have a good night, man. But, okay, so real quick, the con is at 24. Because it, he got negative six, so it rolled backwards to 24. Which, 
whatever. Uh, I mean... Those nines seem pretty okay. Five movement. Rotten Claw. He has hit rate. So there's that. Uh, before I look at Rotten Claw, growth-wise, 60 HP, 20 strength, 45 skill, 110 speed, so we'll get speed every level. Uh, 5 luck, 65 defense, 25 res. There's that. Uh, but what was, what weapon does he have? Rotten Claw. See, the Rotten Claw. Uh, oh, this is the one that the, the normal zombies have, isn't it? So it has two might, 162 hit rate. One weight. Tar oh, it targets resistance. That's the, like, fanciness to it. He targets enemy res. What's his movement? I think five, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. I know someone said it in chat, uh, Rin. Yeah, try and see if you can give that to Mur. Why does that work? Alright. Interesting. I, I just didn't expect them to be tradable. I mean, yeah, I don't remember when Orson leaves. But I wanted to at least eclipse to this map. Prince with the nine, month. nice Twitch baby. Thank you for that resub, man. I appreciate that. Gato's Wednesday, it is, man. Oh! She's about to die. I don't know. You have 14 attack. You, you both have 14 attacks. So, who has better hit? 66. Well. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Nice. Appreciate it. Have a good night. I need to look around at any other, like, you. We already know Flux is a pretty good tome. Shamans of six movement. Uh, what else? Anything else sitting here that I've not seen yet? K 
Killer Lances have 23 uses, okay. They have hit rate. They have 18 weight. But they have 76 crit. 3 might. And that's... Do they have any specialty effects to them? Killer Lance, plus 5 res. So if we take a look at his stats... Huh. Okay. Lightning, we've vaguely seen. Does it do no stat? But, okay. That appears to be... That appears to be it. Okay. And we can soak damage. At the very least. Fast boy, okay. Uh, so Mur. Mur. Now that she can take claws, Mur should turn out pretty damn good. This guy's not gonna move, no, he would, he would already move. speed. What was Mur? I don't remember anymore. Uh, Mur was, what, Ford? Let me just go down to Ephraim. What was your speed growth? 80. Okay. May get, be getting doubled now. You have 41 HP, though. The teeth count as claw weapons, though, or is that a separate? Because it's it's not the claw icon; it's actual fang. I don't know if Mur would be able to use that or not. All right, Tana. Got a plus two skill. Retentures, man. Weapon. Oh, any monster weapon can be welded by anything? As long as it's a monster? That's kind of per that that's wild. So like evil eyes can just be given out too? Okay. I gotta remember that. Fuck off, dude. You had to hit me, didn't you? We're gonna be on this map for a long time. <laughs> No, I think he did hurt himself. I didn't attack him. Or did I do I do No, I did damage to him beforehand. Never mind. Uh Go. All right, Dirk. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Hey, and Kayla. No, 
do it. Thank you. 2% crit. Skill pretty quickly, I imagine. Elixir. You know, should I even open these? Let me look at this. Cause like normally this is these are weapons you would use for the map, but I don't can't do that. The other one's a Killer Lance. I guess it would be nice to have because they aren't bad, as we saw over here. Killer Lances are pretty good. But I think it's worth getting. get boots, I feel like Murr would do well with them to make her a, a full-on unit. Normally, giving boots to someone who has low movement to begin with is a terrible idea, but with the the stats that Murr should end up with, I think it'll be a, I think it'll be a good one. Did I retaliate that? Wait a second. No, okay. For a second, I thought I retaliated. I was like, wait, do we have one to two range bow? No. Alright, what do we got over here? Iron sword, alright. That doesn't help. You still have three moves. Alright, Tana. One skill. We got strength. And what was it? Defense? That went one to eight? Yep. We got the double skill. <laughs> yeah, the elixirs aren't overkill for once. Uh, which I might actually. Uh, I think I will grab one. Get up to that 40%. 
41 HP. We do the doubling around here, okay. doesn't really hit. Flux does. But lightning is 20 hit rate. I'm not too worried about it. It's 10 weight as well. Flux does have accuracy though. 73 hit. It's pretty decent. And has 18 crit. That's the scary one. One more flux. Yeah, fire and lightning are terrible. Strength, skill, E. I'm gonna go this way. mean? What is lightning about to do? I mean, it's 10 hit rate. It can't... Oh, you're right, I'm a monster! I forgot about that. I was just like, bow... Bow killer? That's not a thing. What... Right, you're right. How was I thinking about the monster aspect? I gotta, yeah, I gotta watch that. Okay. Any of our monster units going up against light magic. Res. Nine, you have pretty good res. Nine res. What do you have? Twelve attack. You wouldn't do much. You might. Uh, you're gonna double. As one weight. Three speed. Well, no, you have three con. So four speed. Uh, we have six con, five speed. What was the weight of the rotten claw? Uh, so I don't remember. Uh, one. Okay, so we're getting no reduction. He shouldn't double me. Damage. 
damage if we hit? Nope. There with loot. Speed. Ooh, and the double skill. Hell yes. Tana levels. Okay. Fire and What is that? B rank in bows. Pulmonary. Uh, I mean, I guess I could go after this guy a little bit. He does he has zero hit rate on me. Story promote. What would happen? Would he go to the next? Or are all bone walkers? Do Bonewalkers have tiers? They just have high stat caps to just push them throughout the game. I don't know how that's gonna work. Very, very interested though. Good shit. No, oh, actually, they don't. They don't. It's not really like a high stack cap. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, you. Oh, you had the. Single digits, I think, in five. <laughs> oh. So Flux is accurate and poisons. The there is no downside to Flux. Seven might, seventy-three hit, eighteen crit, and poisons with one weight. Now we're taking poison damage. Uh... Hey, I guess the yeah, the downside dark magic class lock. Alright, Beacon Bow. Okay. Um... This guy... I... 
Killer Lances are actual problems. Dancer over here. I think I'm gonna need all four of these people over here. To deal with this. Alright. Oh, fuck. Uh, Iron Sword's shitty. I forgot we don't have a convoy. We have to throw things away. I need to watch for that. Take us with those numbers. I mean, you're the only one left, but I I don't know if I can hit you. Let me let me just see. Four should do twelve, and I only do two in return. Guaranteed two damage, but if you don't do any damage to Orson. He's a five. Well, it's, this game is true hit, so that five is like a one. Let's see. I want to know exactly what is the accuracy there. Zero point fifty five. I, I could have him break his lance on Orson. That might... That might be, like, the only thing I can safely do. I'm just gonna break the steel bow. Because he'll do two damage, and he'll just heal it back up on the throne. But I still have to kill him. A three percent, which is point two one. Like, whenever I made the randomizer, this situation was the fear. <laughs> Break his weapon. That's not a problem.
he has no weapon, but... Why does he have zero? Ooh. The weight of... The... Oh. He has 21. Alright, well, I have a win. Thankfully. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but dude, no, it can't be. Were we merely pawns? Yeah, dude. Oh. Could have gotten much worse, yeah. I thought I was gonna have to go for that point five the entire time. We've secured the entire castle. You were brilliant, Prince Everett. What a plan, what a battle. We estimate at least half of the enemy troops are in the field. We took the castle, but we don't have the manpower to hold it in a siege. No point lingering here. Let's continue on to Grotto Keep. <laughs> the like squishy steps from Mer. Zephram, things have taken a turn for the worse. I took a look out uh, around the castle perimeter. We're surrounded. What? Grotto sent reinforcements so quickly? Which we do. We must escape. So you've captured Ren uh, Renval, have you? And with such a small force, impressive. You've earned your reputation, I must say. I quite admire your work. I take it you're the leader of this pack, the misguided Prince Zephram. I am. I'm General Valter, the Moonstone of Grotto's Imperial Army. Catching up to you has caused me no small amount of trouble. You've reduced your wretched home to of, of Renai to ruin, and yet... You and your little band of bravos continue to be a thorn in our side. But that all ends here. We'll see. You claim you've taken the capital of Renai. Tell me, how did you know I would attack Renval? Oh, patience. You'll have your answer soon enough. Now be good, lads, and drop your weapons, will you? It's Ephraim, let us attack. Listen to, listen to me, Ephraim. You're a smart man. You know it's futile to fight me. You cannot win. You cannot escape. Accept the reality of your situation. Resen surrender to me. Surrender. That's right. If you do, I'll let you live. Uh, if you hold, uh, if your life, I hold your life in the palm of my hand. Do not test my good humor. Now come over here. Bend your knee and beg for your life. Show me how Renai's dog. Be Jesus, I have stumbled on so many words tonight. I think not. What? You said your name was Walter, didn't you? Well, I'm sorry, Walter, but I don't have time to waste playing games with you. So we're gonna knock you louts about a bit and make our way out of here. Fool, have you gone mad? Do you truly believe you can fight your way past my wyvern knights? Watch and see. I don't pick fights I can't win. Kyle Ford, are you ready? My life has been yours since the moment I took my chivalric vow. So moments like these that keep me by your side, my prince. What idiotic wretches you are. Prepare yourselves to be destroyed utterly. We break off to the east. Go! Do we immediately... Okay, we get a map. Okay. Can I buy things here? Anything good? I, I do wanna... Real quick, because I'll forget. Entire... No, no, no. Manage items, there we go. Supply, give the guiding ring away. Um, Larishel, 
take a steel sword. Erica has an armor slayer. Seth has a steel sword. Dozla, Marissa. Marissa base-wise? Sure. Growth unit-wise, like, she shouldn't last long, but as far as just kind of chilling with us for a bit, she has some use. Dozla might as well. You don't need two of those. All of our sword users got a steel sword. Yes. Where's only <laughs> level four? Ugh. I mean, granted, what he has what? Until chapter twenty to promote or something? So there's that. Anything useful in the shop? Another torch stave, which we do have one of already. Restore would be helpful, but that is expensive. Ah, uh, fuck it. Go ahead and take, take the torch as well. And... Uh, is there a convoy button? So I have to feed someone, Ismair. I mean, 48 uses, that's that's what I'm looking at right now. Just the use of our weapons determines how expensive, or how much cash we get out of it. So... Maybe not. It just takes a lot to buy, and then selling them, we get nothing in return. Never mind that. <laughs> Whatever. Cash is cash. Sally has a torch. Uh, we'll give a vulnerary. I guess put it in the convoy. And take the torch. We hit 10, we can see if GR does any. I'm not sure. This might turn into that scenario where the level resets to level 1. Alright, whichever lord we don't pick, we'll get to level 15 when the routes combine again, so that's not a thing to look about. Think about. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. But I think that's, that's where I want to stop for tonight. I, I definitely don't want to do this map. This is chapter six. I'm pretty sure this is the, like, this is the, the fog of war, right? Yeah, I'm not about it. No, thank you. Oh, uh, hit time easy. Oh, guiding, guiding, okay. Oh, all right. Solid progress. We got some interesting units. Weapons were like the main thing. I mean, other than seeing that Ephraim is like monster city. <laughs> We've seen some really interesting weapons tonight. Um, which, yeah, that's going to do it for a stream tonight. Friday, uh, we're going to be finishing Iconoclasts and probably playing, like, Monster Hunter. Possibly PC Overwatch if Kenny's around and wants to do that. Um, we'll, we'll do one of those two after Iconoclasts. So we will resume this and figure out something to do on Monday as well. I don't know if I have a short game that's like two to four hours. The plan after Iconoclast was Kirby. But Kirby doesn't come out until next Friday. We'll find something. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for coming out to stream. I do appreciate it very much. Hopefully you guys had a good time tonight. Uh, and I will see you all on Friday. Good night. Don't. Don't leave. Don't leave me! <laughs>